All right, so we were supposed to, we have a point 39.3 from the base of the building. So if the building's over here on the left, this is the base. And so this is the point 39.3 feet from the base. It says the angle of elevation to the top of the building. Well, angles of elevation come from the horizontal going up to the hypotenuse. So this is 74 degrees, 30 minutes. And it says, how tall is the building? Well, the building height is going to be this thing over here. So again, the, the thing you got to find out is what is the, uh, did I lose you guys? What, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I can't see if you guys are chatting me, but anyway, uh, what is the height of the building? So if I look at this thing if, from the angle, this side over here is opposite. And from this angle, this side right here is adjacent because these are the legs because they meet at the right angle. So opposite adjacent is TOA. So I get the tangent of the angle is going to equal the opposite over the adjacent. So there is my equation. So that's the that's the part that I gotta solve the equation for. Uh oh, what happened? I think that is okay. All right, there we go. All right. So we're going to take and get rid of that 39.3 at the bottom. So I have to multiply both sides by that. So that's 39.3 times the tangent of 74 degrees, 30 minutes. Now, I showed you where the minutes and degrees buttons are, but I also showed you another way to do this. So I'm going to show you on the calculator where to find this stuff. I'm going to show you the long way first, and then I'm going to show you a faster way. If I can get my camera to show up. I don't see my camera. This is not good. There it is. All right. So I'm going to bring my camera over here and I'm going to plug this thing underneath that camera box so you can see my calculator. So on my calculator, again, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. I'm going to show you what I think is the long way first, 39.3 times uh, tangent. Now, i got to go to my mode because I, had, I was doing calculus earlier and changed that back to degrees right there. you got to be in degrees. So I got 39.3 times the tangent, and I want 74 degrees. So I hit 74, and then if I hit second apse, which is right here down from the diagonal, and number one, that's the degree symbol, and then I hit 30, and I hit second apse, and then number two here is the minutes. That is your answer, and you're going to round to three decimal places, so that's 141.711. Now, to me, it takes longer doing that than it does to do this. If I take 39.3 times tangent, and I do 39 plus, now minutes, it takes 60 minutes to get one degree. So you can change this into a fraction by putting 30 divided by 60 in there. And that way, you don't have to flip back and forth all the time. Okay, we should have had the exact same answer there, so I am a little confused. Oh, I hit 39. Never mind. I didn't put the 74 in. I hit 39. So let me go back in and put 74 in over here. There we go. So it's still 141.711. We're rounding to three decimal places. So is that one okay? Let's write that answer down here. So 171 point, nope, not 170, 141, 141 point 711 feet. That's the approximate height of the building. So that's the first one. 
So I'm going to do my calculator the way I did it the second way because I think that's faster. But if you want to go in and do it with the degrees minute symbols, that's where they are. And if you ever have a second symbol, that's uh, that is alpha plus sign is the second symbol. So you might want to write that down if you're going to use those. Here goes the next one. A camp owner knows the angle of elevation from the camp that is 4,848 4, feet and that, that, that of a peak is 13,837 feet. Watch the airline distance from the camp to the peak. Okay, so this is kind of a, do we know what elevation means? And, and the meaning of elevation is how far above sea level it is. So I'm going to put my camp right here. This is my camp. And I'm going to, I know that the camp's at 4,848 feet. I know that the peak is higher than that. So the peak, I'm going to put the peak up here. Put a P for peak. That's going to be my peak. And I want to know what's the straight line distance from my camp to the peak. So pretend that's a straight line. That's what I'm looking for. What is the airline distance? So straight from the camp to the peak is what I want to know. All right, so I'm going to make a right triangle out of this by drawing this thing over to here and drawing this thing down to here so that I get a right triangle. Now, what I need to know is, it said that this camp, this camp is at 4,848 feet from sea level. So this right here, this thing right here is sea level. If you want to think of it as being the ground, that's fine. But this is 4,848 feet right here. So over here, this thing down to sea level is also 4,848 feet, okay? But it says the peak, this whole thing here, the peak is at a height of 13,837 feet. So what I need to do is I got to find out, first of all, what is this height right here? So I hope... I hope you know that if you take thir the 13,837 minus 4,848, that's going to be this part here from geometry. Segment addition postulate says the two little segments will add up to be the big segment. So I'm taking my calculator right now and I'm taking 13,837 minus 4,848, and that gives me 8989. So this is 8989. 8,989 feet. It also told me that the angle of elevation from the camp to the peak, so that's this thing, is 22 degrees, 14 minutes. So what this is, is this side is opposite, and this is always hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. So that opposite hypotenuse, those two letters mean you have to have so. So is the one that's got OH. These are the letters that we got to know. First one was tangent because we had opposite adjacent. This one is OH, so this is sine. So I'm going to do the sine of the angle is going to equal opposite divided by hypotenuse. Now I got to get the X off the bottom, so I got to multiply both sides by X. So over here, these reduce. And then I divide by sine of 22. So I'm going to take 89.89 divided by the sine of 22 degrees, 14 minutes. So again, I'm going to show you on my calculator how I'm going to type that in. I'm going to type in 89.89 divided by sine. And then that's 14 or 22 degrees. So I go 22 plus 14 divided by 60. And that comes out to be 23,756 Feet. So this hypotenuse is 23,000, I guess I should put it down here at the bottom. Hypotenuse is 23,756.580 feet. So that's how long far it is from straight line distance from camp to peak. Are you okay with that one? Okay, we got one more, I think. So this one says you got a 22-foot ladder against a house. So a house, I hope, is vertical. Over here somewhere, we got a ladder coming up from the ground up to the somewhere on the house. So this, is, this would be the ladder. I hope you've seen ladders leaning against a house. 
So this hypotenuse, which is the ladder, is 22 feet. Uh, the top of the ladder is 12 feet above the ground. So this is 12 feet above the ground because the ground's this thing. So this leg is 12 feet. Uh, we'll find the angle the ladder makes with the ground. Well, this is the ladder and the ground's down here. So we're looking for that angle right there. So again, this side over here where the 12 is, is opposite. This is opposite the right angle. So this is hypotenuse. So this is sine again. So the sine of x is going to equal 12 over 22. Well, you've got to get rid of sine because we want angle x all by itself. So the thing that gets rid of that sine is inverse sine. So you're going to take the inverse sine of both sides. Sine and inverse sine cancel out, so all we're left with is angle x on this side. These two things cancel. Over here, we're going to type in second sine is inverse sine, and I'm going to type that into my calculator. I'm going to show you this, and we're supposed to do this to the nearest minute. Nearest minute. Because when we type it in first, we are going to get a uh, decimal degrees. So I'm going to type on my calculator. I'm going to hit second sine. That's the inverse. I'm going to take 12 divided by 22, and there's my decimal degrees. So that's decimal degrees. I want degrees, minutes, seconds. So to find the degrees, minutes, second button, you got to hit second, apps, and then you're going to see it's the number four that gives you DMS. So I'm going to come over here and show you that. So blue is second, so I hit second. If you come diagonal from the green button, that's apps. If you come up here and look at the number four, that says change to DMS. So I'm going to hit four. And if you look on my calculator, it says it's going to take that answer and change it to degrees, minutes, seconds. So I hit enter, and there's my degrees, minutes, seconds. So angle X is equal to 33 degrees, 3 minutes, and then 20.632 seconds. Now see, this is more of an exact answer than they wanted. They went to the nearest minute. So we are rounding to this place, so i got to look at this number over here. If the second, you're supposed to know that it, to, it takes uh, 60, 60 seconds to equal one minute. Oops, one minute. So if you get halfway to 60, which is 30, you round up your minutes. So 20 is not halfway, so that would stay three. So the answer we want is 33 degrees, three minutes. Are you all right with that one? Okay. Are there any others you want me to go over? Anything else you're not sure about? The hardest part of these are drawing the triangles. The pictures, that's the hardest part. At least I think it is. There were all of my, okay. Does anybody, anybody else got anything you want me to do? You got me for another uh, 25 minutes if you want. If you don't have any more questions, we'll call it a day. All right, have a good one.